Now to the baby formula shortage affecting families all over the U.S. Inflation, supply chain shortages, and product recalls are responsible for this, and now some stores are rationing stock. Manufacturers are ramping up production to make up the difference, but it could take weeks for them to catch up. Dr. Payel Adhikari, a Chicago-based pediatrician, joining us live this morning. Good to see you, Dr. Adhikari. Uh, thanks for being with us. So if I'm a parent that needs formula, I think the first thing I would do is jump online. And if I couldn't find the actual brand, then I would look for a similar brand. Is that right? Is that the way to go about this? Absolutely. You know, it's, as long as your formula is FDA approved, it's okay to switch between brands, assuming your kid doesn't have any specific medical problems, um, which your pediatrician should have addressed already. But if they're a normal baby, you can absolutely switch between FDA approved brands. And I really do recommend parents to do that from the beginning because of this issue. If you um, run out of formula, if you're traveling and you can't get that same formula, you want your babies to be flexible and not be particularly you know, stuck to a specific brand of formula. So the younger they are, the easier it is to just to introduce in multiple types of formula to make them flexible in what their tastes um, allow. Yeah, because I know parents who their babies only will eat a certain kind of formula. In fact, they'll spit out everything else. So what are the impacts of switching a baby formula brands, especially if you have a finicky baby or a baby that maybe has a digestive issue? If you have a finicky baby, what I recommend, and you're worried that you're not going to be able to get that particular formula anymore, I would recommend starting to mix the formula you have with another brand. So, you know, mix it so that they maybe get a little bit of flavor from that original formula and then can add in that, you know, that, that new formula as well. If your baby has a digestive issue, that's something you should really discuss with your pediatrician to see what other brands could be comparable and therefore um, okay for your baby. And what about a lot of DIY is going on right now? I can imagine that some parents will go online or they have somebody in their life who's very holistic and says, I can come up with a better alternative for you that's completely made at home from scratch. Is that safe for parents to do? Absolutely not. So this is a very medical school no-no. Um, you know, formulas are very, very specific in what nutrients they have. So I absolutely do not recommend making your own formula at home. Um, if it comes to the point where there is a pinch and there, the shelves are absolutely empty, there are definitely online brands that you can buy or um, online vendors. You know, Hi Bobby is one or um, there's multiple vendors like Earth Best and Babies Only. There's so many brands you can buy online as well. All right, good. It's good to know that there are options, especially with this uh, shortage in baby formula. Dr. Adhikari, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.